Chairman. I'd like to start by thanking Commissioner Marshall for his leadership on the Workers' Compensation Board with the experience, claims experience that we have had this year for Mr. Beals to present that we had a reduction in those premiums was not just heavy lifting on our end, but on that board's end as well. So thank you, Commissioner Marshall, for your leadership there. Um, staff will be participating in Lowndes High School's work-based learning reverse career fair tomorrow. The work-based learning programs at Lowndes High School continue to be a major factor in workforce development in our community. Um, there have been recently programs established with the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office uh, to feed into our jail operations program there, and I look forward to learning more about other opportunities for other departments while I'm working with those students tomorrow. Um, then on Thursday, we have our employee Christmas luncheon at the Civic Center at 11.30. We hope to see you all there for that. Um, you may get some questions regarding the Sip Kitchen's availability to feed um, those in need through the holidays. We are working with the Sip Kitchen at a meeting on Friday, and there's other volunteer organizations. Um, some of the fraternities as well as Rotary have reached out to be a part of that through the Red Cross. Um, so I just want to let you all know that, that we're staying on top of those conversations and we'll continue facilitate where we can to make sure that those people are taken care of. Second Harvest was also a large part of that initiative last year and I feel certain if we need to call them again this year that they would they would be there to help as well. Um, as Ms. Black uh, mentioned earlier, uh, we are already working on our budget. Those budget packets are out. Um, she and her staff are also working as well as some of the other department heads on the audit process and we remain on track to have our audit complete on time. Uh, that is to be filed with the state of Georgia by December the 31st. Um, also, some of you received email traffic related to the ACCG's intern program for this summer. Um, uh, Rachel Thrasher has applied for two positions there, one for um, her purposes and also um, she and Felicia have worked on an intern for, for um, uh, probation as well. So we'll await the results of that, but I know that some of you have been asked are we participating in those programs and, and we are. We have two applications in. Um, also, in response to the continued conversation related to service delivery and the upcoming legislative session following our conversation this morning, I've reached out to our lobbyist and I'm waiting on a contractual update um, to cover conversations at the state level so that we can remain on the forefront of those conversations moving into session as it relates to any updates to not only service delivery strategy, but as well as local option sales tax. So in January, we expect to have a consideration of a contract for um, a lobbyist at the state level for you all to consider for that as well. Um, and that's the last thing I have on my report. I would just like to say again that 2023 has been an epic year. Um, there's no better team than some of the people that you sit um, see before you and, and their counterparts. And we are excited about 2024 and all that it's going to bring. Um, I have no doubt that it's going to be great. Hey, Christian.